Hey guys, I hope you've had a great holiday and a great New Year's. I am back with more tutorials because I'm back at work now and I hope you're enjoying life and loving it as much as I am. So in this tutorial, we're going back onto the Illustrator basics and I'm going to show you how to create shapes to make an overall shape. Now Illustrator, or what people think is in Illustrator is that you're designing really complicated stuff and to create something you have to be really complicated and use the pen tool and all that. But Illustrator isn't like that and it shouldn't be. Illustrator is designed with all the tools to create things with shapes. So certain shapes create different sort of other shapes and it's really a hard concept to understand. But when we see something, we can sort of make shapes out of it. Now it's like if you play guitar like I do, it's like saying um, a chord is just one note when it's not. A chord is a multiple notes to create a one chord. So in this one shape, I have created multiple shapes to create this overall big shape. And this is what I came out with. Now the first thing I want you to show you is, and if you're wondering why I'm going through it so much, it's because it'll help you in the future of when you're trying to create things with an illustrator. So what we can see here is a couple shapes and a bit of editing involved. We can see that there's two circles on this love heart. And in this love heart, we can see this because if I just create a circle, it seems like we've got two half of circles. I'm just gonna go ahead and change the fill to green so we can see. So we can see that there's two sort of perfect circles in here, if I can expand it up a bit, or near enough perfect circles. So I just I'll copy that over. You can see there's two perfect circles here. And then down here we've edited a bit. And I'm gonna show you how I created this using shapes and how it's so easy to do so. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I've got into a new artboard here. And if I press Command R, this will bring up rulers and this will help us. So I'm gonna go sort of somewhere near the middle and bring out a ruler. If you can't see your rulers, go to view and then the rulers part down here. You can have your smart guides on, that works as well, but we'll turn them off at some point. So I'm gonna press Command R to get rid of my actual ruler and then I've got one here. The first thing I want to do is I want to create this first shape on the left. What you can't see here is if I just bring up my rulers again, is that I've got, I've sort of mirrored this image. And this is why Illustrator is so good as well, because you can mirror things. And you don't have to do everything um, the same way each different time. You can sort of create a perfect image by mirroring it. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a couple tools here. I'm going to use the uh, spiral tool. Now the, not the spiral tool, what is it called? The arc tool. So that is under the line tool. If we hold down, you'll get it. I'm going to go to my guide and then I'm going to bring it out a little bit here and press shift, which will constrain the angles. I'm going to use uh, space to move it down a bit. and I've constrained the angles. And what this does is this arc, when you hold shift, it constrains it to a quarter circle. So if I let go, I've got a quarter circle there, right there. You might not be able to see it very well, but the blue line means that there's a quarter circle. I'm going to hold on this anchor point again, and I'm going to bring down and hold shift. But the problem we have is that the art's going the wrong way. An easy way to fix this is while holding everything down, that's the click button and the shift button, press F, and it will flip it around for you. And what we need to do actually, before we create this one, is try and work out where, there we are, where the bottom end lives. So as you can see, that green line there means that it's directly in line with the other sort of quarter circle. I'm gonna let go. Now we've got two separate shapes here and there are different ways of doing this. Some people probably just get a circle like this and they'll probably just get rid of the bottom one. But I wanted to show you how to use arc tool really. Uh, I'm gonna get rid of these. Yep, let me get rid of that point there. Okay, so I've got two sort of shapes here. What I need to do is I'm gonna zoom in on the shape and I'm gonna press A to get my direct selection tool. And then within this, I'm gonna just see where the anchor point lives. So this is one of the anchor points. So there's two anchor points here. We need to join this together. So I'm gonna just sort of highlight around here, which will highlight both of these anchors here. It'll select them both. And I'm gonna press Command and J, which will join these anchors together to create one path. So we've got one path outline now. Awesome, I'm gonna zoom up by pressing Command and Zero or Control Zero on a PC. And then I'm going to go back to my uh, arc tool. And then from here, I'm going to, from this anchor point here, and make sure you have your smart guides on. Go to smart guides down here. I'll press command U. And then from here, I'm going to just bring this down. Now, I've got another problem. It doesn't look right. 
I was going to press F to flip it. And yet we've got another problem because it still doesn't look right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure it's aligned and I'm not holding shift. I'm just aligning it to uh, the uh, center of the document or where the guide is. And I'm just going to let go somewhere around here. And the problem is it doesn't look right. And this is where editing comes in. Now, if you don't know how to use a pen tool, there will be more videos coming out on this series, but I'm going to show you how to use a direct selection tool to edit paths and the bends. So I'm going to zoom in a little bit. And then I'm going to press A. And then with this, I need to select this anchor point here. And what happens then is that these handles come out. Now, when you hold these handles or pull them, things start to happen with it. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to hold shift and move this up a tiny bit. Like so, probably not that much, but I'll move it to about here. And then with this one here, I'm going to move this in a tiny bit. Oh, I'll probably move it down a tiny bit actually. And no, that looks good, just holding shift and moving that part up. So when we, if I just do undo that and then do it again. So I'm holding the handle, pressing shift, and I'm moving it to the center of here. And then scaling it up and down wherever I want. So that is the first part, but the problem is we've got two separate shapes here again. So we need to go to the point of where they both meet, which is here. Highlight them both, press Command J, and we have one single path outline here. Press Command Zero to fulfill your document like so. Now the next thing we need to do is we need to mirror this over here. We need to mirror exactly. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to press or highlight this, press Command J, not Command J, sorry, just press O on the computer. Then hold Alt down, and you see this anchor point here. We need to, when you're holding Alt down, you need to basically press on that anchor point. And when you press there, you'll get this reflect dialog box come up. And then after that, you need to go and preview it by pressing preview. And once you've previewed this, you press copy. And that copies the shape over. But yet again, if I just get rid of my rulers here by pressing Command semicolon. Yeah, again, we've got a weird sort of shape going on here. We've got two shapes. So what we need to do is we need to bring these both together by pressing A, and then selecting both these anchor points there, pressing Command J, going down here, pressing Command J, which will bring them all together, and that is one shape. Then I'm going to change the fill to red. And we've got one fill of red, and then after that, I'm going to bring up the stroke a bit so we can see it. Problem is, is that it doesn't look too good at the moment. So the way to change this will be to press A, come down to this anchor point down here and move it down until we like the sort of bend in it or until we like how the aspect ratio looks. I think I didn't move that around enough. Let's have a look. There we go. And then I'm going to change the stroke values because they seem a bit harsh here. So I'm going to press that, go up to my stroke up here and press round cap, which should round all the, not round cap, the corner cap. I'm going to change it to round join. And that is how you create a hat. I mean, that doesn't look as good as my other one, uh, but it's all about creating shapes. And that is how you create the perfect sort of heart in Illustrator. Hope you enjoyed it. It's more about using shapes in Illustrator. And I wanted to go through different things to show you what you can do in Illustrator. So if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. And I'll see you in my next video tomorrow morning.